¿Cómo están amigos de Futuro? Estamos en un nuevo encuentro. Miren quién está con nosotros, Tony Levin, el tremendo bajista histórico de King Crimson, de Peter Gabriel, de tantas otras muchas bandas que viene con los Stickmen próximamente a nuestro país, su propia banda. Hello Tony, welcome to Radio Futuro. Thank you, thank you for having me and we in Stickmen, we're excited to come to Chile. Eso, Stickmen, su tremenda banda de que va a estar el 20 de noviembre en el Teatro Ones Café de Santiago y también en Concepción, va a estar el día antes, el 19 de noviembre. Ahí vamos a estar repitiendo las coordenadas. Lo primero, preguntarle cómo se siente con este regreso. Well, Tony, first of all, how do you feel about coming back to, to Chile? It's always a special place to come. We have a good history coming to Chile, very special, not only uh, to play there, but to see the people there. They're very wonderful people to us. Sí, claro. Muy... Let me translate what you said, ¿ok? For yeah. everybody to understand. Dice que está feliz, por supuesto, que tiene grandes experiencias y recuerdos acá en Chile, no solamente por lo que han sido los conciertos, compartir la música, sino por la gente de por acá, que también lo ha tratado muy bien. Esta vez viene con, con un nuevo show, tienen un, un EP 2022 llamado Tentacles, a ver qué nos cuenta de este momento actual. So you got a, a new show with your new EP Tentacles released um, this year, 2022. So um, how is this uh, version 2022 of the Stickman? Well, we we are very we are very happy with the new music we wrote for the for the Tentacles CD, like you said. And we also, in the live show, we of course play some classic uh, Stickman pieces. And also in the live show, we love to do a lot of King Crimson music, especially now that King Crimson is not touring anymore. So we do much uh, King Crimson music. And also we try to do some improv improvisation in the show. So we feel good about our show. We have a lot of music and a lot of it is new music. Good. Dice que, claro, el show se viene con todo. Van a estar tocando parte del nuevo material de Stickman algunas canciones de su repertorio para atrás y por supuesto música de King Crimson que los fanáticos siempre quieren ver y también una buena parte de improvisación sobre el escenario lo que siempre es importante a ver si nos cuenta un poco de eso you talk about the um, improvisation that it's a very important part of the live work of the stigman how important is for you to give you those spaces to let your mind and your fingers uh, run free Well, it's important, it's fun for us musically, but also we like that it it makes each show different. So not just, sometimes we do a whole piece that's improvised, and of course it's new each night, but then within each piece, we need to have uh, some part that's fresh, that's different each night, so there can be something unique about that concert. We're not the kind of band to play the same show every night. Claro, dice la improvisación es lo que hace que cada show sea distinto a, a otro, que cada noche sea especial, así que tremendamente importante tener esos espacios para dejar que la mente fluya y los dedos también corran libremente ahí sobre el escenario. Mencionaba a King Crimson que ya no está girando y justamente la última vez que lo vimos por acá fue con King Crimson, así que preguntémosle por, por recuerdos de esa noche, dos noches increíbles que vimos acá en Santiago. You mentioned King Crimson and we remember that the last time that we saw you here was with, with King Crimson in 2019 two amazing shows on a full arena. Uh, what do you remember from those uh, nights? It was very special because uh, uh, for many reasons, it was near the end of the tour or it was the end of the tour. So uh, that's special. Of course, to come to Chile at all is special for also for King Crimson. We have a wonderful history there. The audience is very special. They, they are very supportive of our music. And for me to be in Chile and If the if the tour ends there, then I can maybe go up to the north of Chile and visit uh, my friends at the uh, observatory, European Space uh, ESO Observatory. So I I actually got to spend another week in Chile, which is very special to me. Oh, you went there, there to the yes. observatory? Yes, for the second time. But it was uh, I went once on my own, not on tour, okay. but for the the Crimson tour to end there meant a few of us could go up there and enjoy that amazing part of Chile that's uh, like nowhere else on earth. <laughs> Buenísimo, dice que obviamente tiene el mejor recuerdo de esa visita de King Crimson en 2019, fue el final de la gira para ellos, esa gira que celebraba sus 50 años y lo hicieron acá a tablero vuelto, dice que incluso lo pasó tan bien que se pegó una escapada también al norte, a un observatorio, como un, um, un recorrido aparte que él quería visitar también 
Así que tremenda experiencia. Eh, bueno, King Crimson ya no está tocando, pero habrá de repente posibilidad de que vuelvan a hacerlo tal vez por acá. Well, King Crimson is not touring anymore, but um, we all hope that there's a little chance, possibility that you will make it again and come back. Yo you... también. <laughs> the same for me. I hope that someday we will do something, but the plan, Robert has said, the pl there is no plan for any more in the future from King Crimson. So for the time uh, being, there is no more. For me, I'm, I'm, of course, mixed feelings about that. I love to tour with King Crimson, but I'm lucky in a small way because Peter Gabriel just yes. announced that we're going to tour next year. So I'll be again doing a big tour next year, 2023 with Peter Gabriel. Uh -huh, good. Sí, dice que él también espera que, eh, aunque Robert Freight decidió que no va a haber más giras de King Crimson, a que se revierta esa decisión y volver, él estaría encantado. Lo que sí dice, donde tiene puesta esperanza es que Peter Gabriel, donde él también es el bajista de la banda, ha anunciado un nuevo disco y una nueva gira, así que por ahí puede salir a ver qué nos puede contar de eso. That's right, Peter Gabriel just announced that he will release a new album. Are you playing there on, on the album, right? Yes, yep. Good. It's called <laughs> with, I with, slash with, O, huh? Yes, I only just found out that that's the name. I didn't know that's the <laughs> name, but for for a few years we've been working on tracks. When he when there's time, he brings me to Europe to to England. I'm sorry, and uh, Manu Kache, the drummer from France, and and so we've been working on it for years. I'm very thrilled as a fan of Peter that it's finally going to come out. Great. It's the first album with original songs in almost 20 years since Up from 2002 right i guess so i don't i don't follow how many years but it's been a long <laughs> long time and also touring with peter is a lot of fun for me it's musically great but also fun so i miss that and there i wish there were more tours so i'm very uh as you can imagine i'm excited to do that tour okay and will you come to latin america south america uh, i i don't know the booking uh, of the no. tour is a mystery to me right now they announced that this europe shows And that's what we know. <laughs> yeah, good, good news. Buenas noticias, ahí nos cuentan con Peter Gabriel. Por supuesto, es el bajista estable de Peter Gabriel. Va a estar en el nuevo disco que acaba de anunciar el cantante. Va a salir el próximo año. Se viene una gira también, hasta ahora solamente por Europa. Dice que no, no sabe si es que llegarán por acá, pero es la idea. Así que a ver qué pasa con esto de Peter Gabriel, que es su primer disco de canciones originales en casi 20 años. Así que va a estar realmente, bueno, parte de las actividades que está haciendo Tony Levin. Volvamos a Stigman. Let's go back to the Stigman. Because <laughs> we, we were talking about King Crimson and Peter Gabriel, but Stigman is a very different experience because it's a different instrument, the Chapman stick. So, yes. so how is for you to enter a completely different world with a different sound, or maybe it's not too different at all? Well, it, it's a unique band, and to me that's important. The band that I like have their own sound and maybe their own approach to music, which is what we try to do with Stigman, and I think we've done pretty well with that. Partly it's because we play these unusual instruments. I play the Chapman stick. The Chapman stick has 12 strings and six are guitar strings, six are bass strings. So to make a simple, to make it simple, I can say that I can play bass parts and guitar parts at the same time. Also, we have Marcus Reuter, who plays a similar instrument called the U U8, a touch guitar. So we can be more than just two guys. We can really be four, two guitars and two basses at the same time. And then the third player, Pat Maslato, plays uh, acoustic and electronic drums. So he has samples and loops and things like that. So for three guys, we make a lot of noise, you could say. But more important to me is that we have our own kind of music. It's our, I'm not good at describing it, but it's uh, certainly progressive rock. But it's uh, unusual and interesting, but uh, I, we try to make it unique. Yeah, that's right. Sí, nos cuenta ahí, volviendo a lo que es uh, Stigman, eh, que es una experiencia distinta a, lo, a todo lo otro que hemos mencionado, King Crimson, Peter Gabriel, donde ahí toca el bajo, y esto acá en Stigman, todo gira en torno al Chapman Stick, que es un instrumento diferente, ahí lo describía, tiene 12 cuerdas, 6 de ellas son como de guitarra, las otras son de bajo, así que es como tocar dos instrumentos al mismo tiempo, y está él y Marcus Reuter también con un instrumento similar, además de Pat Masteloto en la batería, también muy conocido por King Crimson, así que entre los tres arman ahí una propuesta única, como la describe ahí nuestro amigo 
Tony Levin, eso es lo que hace de especial este grupo, así que tiene que ir a verlo ahí cuando estén en Chile en los próximos eh, días. Eh, ya que hablamos de bajo, hablemos también un poco de, de historia, de generaciones. Eh, Tony viene de una generación increíble y a ver cómo ve lo que está pasando ahora. Bueno, well, uh, we were talking about the, the bass. You're an historic bass uh, player and you come uh, from a generation that gave us legendary bass players like, uh, I don't know, Jacob Astorius, Geddy Lee, Chris Squire, the list goes on. Um, so I want to know, how do you see what's going on uh, right now? The new generations of bass players, how do you see it? What do you think? I, I, hear, I hear great stuff by, by young players and not uh, what's very nice, not just men, but women sometimes, girls, and uh, I... I get inspired by that. I don't care if the bass player is famous or if the bass player is my age or, or classic or not. When I hear good bass things on the radio or on the, a record, I get excited and inspired. I think most of us bass players are that way. We we thrive, we learn by listening to other bass players and uh, I'm thrilled that this, the new stuff I hear coming out. I don't have a favorite band to tell you, oh, this is the one you should be listening to, but especially You know, YouTube has a lot of uh, uh, individual videos of bass players, so you can see them, what they're playing and things. And I learned, like everybody else, I learned from that, from watching them. Sí, bueno, good. Sí, no, nos cuenta que le encanta, que siempre está pendiente de nuevos talentos, de ver músicos jóvenes tocando el, el, el bajo. Eh, en estas nuevas generaciones y le, le gusta mucho también que no solamente están siendo hombres sino que cada vez más mujeres también están tocando eh, instrumentos, el bajo y se están luciendo ahí, así que le encanta todo eso dice que no le, siempre está revisando más o menos videos y cosas así de nuevos bajistas, no le importa si es que son famosos si es que <ríe> las cifras y qué sé yo, solamente el talento puro es la visión del señor Tony Levin, ya que estamos acá, eh, hablemos de otras cosas también en las que está participando. Uh, Tony, we were talking about your different projects, Stakeman, uh, King Crimson, Peter Gabriel, uh, there's another one, Liquid Tension Experiment, that <laughs> is a new material. Um, recently, you're, you're playing there with Mike and John, so how is that to work again well, with the guys of Liquid Tension Experiment? For For me, it's very inspiring. I was glad in in the years we call the lockdown years that Liquid Tension Experiment decided to get together again, make a new album. It was just like before, which was a lot of years before then. I don't know, 10, 12 years before. It was the same. Uh, those guys are great musicians. They inspire me and they make me realize I need to practice more. There's there's such uh, virtuosos on their instruments. And people ask all the time if there's a plan to tour. We don't we don't have a plan to tour, but maybe someday we will. The thing of that kind of band is, I think everybody knows this, we're all in other bands. I'm in King Crimson, Peter Gabriel, and they're in Liquid Tension. Sorry, they're in uh, Dream Theater. So for us to tour, we need to know a year before when we're all free and not touring with those other bands. It's not so easy. So that's why we don't know when we're going to tour. But my hope is, is one day we will tour. It probably won't be a long year-long tour like these other bands do because we have other things and if we tour of course i hope we will come to south america and to chile but we never know mm -hmm. yeah i was going to ask about the tour so that's the answer <laughs> well people do ask uh, every day people ask me <laughs> what, what's the plan and, and i wish i had a good answer but we don't know <laughs> okay then liquid tension experiment por supuesto, el proyecto que tiene con Mike Porno, John Petrucci y Jordan Rudes de Dream Theater, que se juntaron hace poco para sacar un nuevo disco después de muchísimos años. Salió el, el tercer álbum justamente de Liquid Tension Experiment hace poco. Eh, así que está feliz de poder retomar esa actividad. Dice que siempre la gente les pregunta que se vayan de gira, de cuándo van a estar tocando, hasta luego cual parte. Y dice que por ahora no hay un plan que es bastante complicado porque cada uno tiene sus actividades, así que si, si fijan un, un recorrido tiene que ser casi como con un año antes de anticipación, así que está un poco difícil, pero en algún momento puede ser que se vaya a elegir ahí el Liquid Tension Experiment, parte de las actividades de Tony Levin que ha estado hablando con nosotros y ya nos queda muy poco, así que al final que nos haga una invitación finalmente para ver a Stigman. Well, Tony, our time is coming to an end. It was a very interesting conversation. Thank you very much for your time and we will see you here in Chile. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on Radio Futuro. It's a pleasure and uh, I look forward to seeing you in Chile.
Eso, ahí está la invitación de Tony Levin. 20 de noviembre en Santiago, Teatro Nes Café de las Artes, entradas por Sistema Tiquetec. El día antes, 19 de noviembre en Concepción, en el Teatro de la Universidad de Concepción, entradas ahí por Sistema Ticket Plus. Tony Levin estuvo con nosotros. Bye bye, Tony. See you here. Thank you. Llegamos Thank you. hasta gracias. acá, nos encontramos Muchas. en una próxima. Muchas ocasión. gracias. <ríe> gracias. Chao, chao. Bye bye.